Oklahoma has had its share of rags to riches tales, but the work ethic and generosity of one historic figure in particular is remarkable. OETA's Billy Rodley has this week's edition of Centennial Stories. He was born in Tennessee in 1888, and for almost as long as he could remember, Ross wanted to be a merchant. He set out on his own at the age of 13, working his way literally toward the West. Work was in a sawmill, grubbing roots and other farm chores. By 1902, Ross had a $25 stash. A letter from his older brother lured him further west to Indian Territory. There he took a step toward his dream, getting a job with a widow whose husband had left her with a mercantile to run. He got room and board and a dollar a month. Room was a cot in the chicken house. Ross did odd jobs, eventually working his way into the store, waiting on customers and even bookkeeping. Eventually, he bought out the widow, so in less than 10 years, Ross worked his way from penniless waif to merchant. He was a great salesman and did a good business, but most of his customers were farmers buying on credit. There was a drought. Farmers couldn't pay bills, and Ross had to sell out. It was a lesson well learned for the merchant. Don't sell on credit. He found himself working in and managing department stores, even sweeping floors if need be, and always paying attention to the customers. It was those years in which Ross solidified his work ethic and business philosophy. He once said, when deciding the selling price of an article, it should not be how much, but how little we can sell it for and still make a profit. Ross was way ahead of his time when buying in bulk, selling in volume, and at lower prices. In 1922, working for others came to an end in Cushing, Oklahoma. Ross opened his own place, the Dixie store called the friendliest store in town. The merchant didn't stop there. Charles Ross Anthony, C.R. Anthony, brought sons Guy and Ray and his daughter's husbands into the company. By the time grandson Bob Anthony was cutting ribbons, more than 300 stores in several states bore the name of the poor boy with a dream to be a merchant. I'm Billy Roadley with Centennial Stories.